I think a lot of players were hoping New World was going to be so much better than it turned out to be. And unfortunately, New World, like I said in many of my other videos, is looking a little bit DOA. It's primarily because, well, yes, a lot of MMOs, a lot of games nowadays typically release very buggy, maybe old school World of Warcraft. People can think of Elder Scrolls Online, etc. And it's primarily, at the very least, a lot of that game got patched very quickly early on. And while some things were bugged, like for example, in ESO, they had some bugs with their questing and phasing, where if one person was on a different part of the quest, they basically phased they phased that person into another part of the game, into another part of the server, uh, and basically made it difficult for you to level up with your friends if you wanted to go out and kind of quest. In the beginning, there were some very buggy things about the game, but for the most part, it was very quite enjoyable. And I think a lot of people, what held a lot of the players back then, and what drew players like me, was the PvP. And of course, PvP was buggy, but at the very least, there was plenty of it to go around. If you wanted to go out into open world Cyrodiil, and literally spend the whole day just going out, capturing keeps, fighting other people, doing midfield, small, small PvP, large scale PvP, solo PvP, you had the opportunity to do it. And unfortunately, since New World was not designed to be a PvE game, there really isn't a lot of depth to the game. It's very, very much uh, kill X amount of these things quest, go fetch this, go to talk to this NPC and come right back, etc. There's no real in-depth storyline. A lot of the NPCs are not uh, voiced over like in the Elder Scrolls Online or in other games. Now, this is uh, fairly recent, and this has been going around for quite some time, where it says New World's players have found a way to make themselves invincible in PvP by using windowed mode. And so it goes on to say, so when it comes to PvP in any game, it's just squashing an exploit that makes you literally invincible is pretty important. This is all things considering. It says such an exploit was discovered in New World where players can run the game in windowed mode, could simply move the window to engage an indefinitely looping and invulnerability timer, letting their character become immobile but invincible. It says one player who discovered a bug immediately posted a video to the bug forum begging Amazon to fix the exploit. And there were very many similar things like this. It just comes to stand that New World, of course, very much like the mistakes that ESO made uh, back in the days of being sir, having their client be server side, uh, which means that individuals can, of course, exploit their um they can exploit the video game very much like ESO where people were utilizing things like cheat engine or other scripts where they could play the game and utilize these things to cheat the player base. Now for ESO, that went on for quite some time to the to the point where the developers finally had to uh, recode the game so that the game was server side versus client side. And of course, as you remember, that caused huge issues with lag. And it's like uh, New World already has problems with lag in their 50 v 50 wars which is pretty much where the vast majority of their pvp takes place which is why many people are very discouraged because they want to pvp they want to interact but a lot of people aren't flagging players are calling for pvp servers but the developers don't want to give the basically the people who are looking to pvp a pvp server so a lot of people are trying to uh, they're waiting for server transfers which of course were buggy like i talked about in my last game i mean there were so many things that could go wrong that literally what they should have just done is said i'm sorry but you're gonna have to we're gonna open up a server we're gonna increase capacity but you're gonna have to re-roll or create a pvp server and force everybody to re-roll so that if there was some sort of exploit that individuals took advantage of at the beginning of the game, they can just say, well, this is where we're at. We're going to wipe clean on this server. Anybody who wants PvP basically all the time, you'll be on uh, this particular server. So kind of everybody is starting from the same vantage point instead of rolling out fixes and then not basically punishing other players, etc. Or maybe players were just not caught 
doing what they were doing. In any event, the article goes on to say, it says, mercifully, it says this exploit has been reportedly hotfixed. Shortly after it was discovered, though, Redditors are also saying that moving the game's window now causes players' characters to disconnect. It reads like a stopgap solution until something more sustainable is put into place in a later patch. But for now, the problem of immortal PvP appears to be quashed at least until the next bug is discovered and of course you can see the video here with someone showcasing it now another thing that of course is broken with new world uh, many of the perks whether they're weapon weapon perks or armor perks uh, it says uh, new world warning most perks are fundamentally broken testing reveals and this is an article from forbes and it says new world gets a lot of things right and i do one of the things i love about new world is of course is the variety of the builds you know the world is very beautiful it's not by no means the most beautiful game obviously it's an mmo and it's got to cater to different levels of players and what their pcs can run but for the most part i really do enjoy the game but it falls very far short of what many of us were expecting especially if you had purchased a game and you were looking to per uh, and you were looking to play a game that was more oriented towards pvp unfortunately on my server there isn't really a lot of pvp going on and typically when i do fly up i typically stay flagged uh most of the time i typically get attacked by players that are either already level 60 with better gear than me because there's no penalty um, for attacking players that are weaker than you if you're just looking to pvp and that's why i've said in my in my other videos um, that to have fixed what was broken in essence during the alphas where people were complaining that they're being killed at the spawn was you should have just implemented some sort of a a, a justice system some sort of a penalty for individuals who are basically flagging on individuals so in my opinion new world should have just gone the route like how um lineage 2 was where basically you could force flag onto somebody but if that person didn't flag back and you killed that person you in essence became criminalized and i do believe <clears throat> that they had some sort of a system previously in place or a concept and that got removed very much like what happened in the other scores online where we were supposed to have uh, access to a justice system right around the time that the thieves guild uh, expansion had come out and unfortunately that got quashed because people were complaining that there were going to be consequences now for them role-playing as thieves and murderers basically in towns where the players could then uh, attack those individuals who were found stealing from npcs or killing npcs and of course the role players got upset and of course that whole concept got quashed and of course removed what was going to be eso open world pvp where you could have role played as a bandit you could have role played as an npc murderer etc and then basically individuals would be able to attack you um, in the towns or anywhere outside of town for that matter and unfortunately that got quashed new world with new world it goes on to say it says a lot of the things did right many of the perks for example like the resilient perk which is designed to reduce the amount of critical damage that you take actually gives you um reduces all damage it says reduces all damage not just crit damage it says uh by that amount meaning if you have this on all of your gear you're taking 22 percent less damage than other players making pvp a breeze even vile bent gear is barely better overall and costs a zillion dollars or hours to get and of course there's other exploits talking about massive in-game mining explorer and of course all these links for you to take a look at will be in the title and so a lot of these things a lot of these issues <clears throat> are not going to be fixed anytime soon if you remember old school you saw when it first came out it took the developers a very long time and there was that whole uh weekend where there was a group of players and zenimax online studios kept denying that cheat engine was still being used there were certain pvpers and certain pvp streamers that got exposed for utilizing cheat engine and again it's not that you have to come out with this invincibility bug you can just tweak your character just slightly maybe you get a little bit more hp regen maybe you got just a little bit more resistance maybe you have just a little bit more in terms of the amount of damage that you do maybe you just tweak your character ever so slightly so that it just feels like you're maybe you're just being outplayed and so when it comes to pvp especially when there are exploits things like this become difficult for players to say specifically this person is exploiting and of course the only reason individuals got caught 
was because individuals made mistakes. Maybe somebody had told. And it was funny because there was a, there were quite a few P, uh, groups, a uh, group of kids that used to PVP with this particular streamer. And when that person went down, basically the whole group stopped PVPing, and they weren't really as active on streaming and their YouTube, etc. And they just basically fizzled out. And the reason being is because they were exploiting. They were exploiting to make themselves just slightly better than the player is. Maybe they were slightly more skillful. But it was the cheat engine that was basically taking them the rest of the way, making them that much more difficult to kill. And unfortunately, New World making the very uh, much same mistakes as The Elder Scrolls Online. And it will probably end the same way with a lot of their PVPers opting to leave, especially if something better comes along. Anyway, I'm going to leave it right here. Thanks for watching. And of course, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll check you out next time.